from an experiential point of view, what I felt was happening to me is so, so bizarre and so terrifying. It is almost beyond my capacity to express it. What gradually then happened to me over the course of four days was a deepening of delirium. The next night is the most terrifying night of my entire life, bar none. I mean, it's the most appalling, I cannot, I, it's almost impossible to, suffice it to say, at eight o'clock the night shift comes in with big bags of crisps and pop that they're gonna have while they eat me. And over there in the nurses' room, somehow or other, they've cooked up this sort of strange barbecue which they've kind of got over there. So they go and put their crisps over here in their pot and they go down there and they're sort of cooking everything up and so on. I begin now to fight them. And I fight them with everything I've got. And this fight takes the whole of the night. I pull out all the tubes. At the end of this process, um, when I have been so terrified by them, the, the, what they're going to do to me, they're going to eat me while I'm, and cut me up while I'm still alive and I will feel, and I'll feel it. They just need to warm me up a bit. And then I get into my head that they've sold me these mad um, cannibal type people who are incredibly wealthy. Anyway, uh, I devise a way which I c is so horrible to describe how I think I <coughs> kill myself uh, in order to deny myself to them. As I lie there, dead, my mind floats above my body and I think, God, they're going to have difficulty explaining this.